Omega here and today's video is one I've held off filming for at least a year because all the bits and bobs for this collection are all around the apartment. Some over here on the pinball machine, some up in the toy display in the bedroom, some in storage but today I got it all out to share with you guys. It's my dinosaurs collection. This was my favourite TV show growing up. It ran from 91 to 94. It was a live action puppetry show uh, with full costume puppetry, people from head to toe puppets. It had the wonderful voice talents of Kevin who also did the voice and puppetry of Elmo playing Baby Sinclair, my favouritest character from the TV show. I watched this over and over again in reruns and I would absolutely love to own some of the VHS which I don't own. I don't even own the series on DVD or anything so this is just purely my collection of toys and other bits and bobs uh, I've been collecting for as long as I can remember I can't remember a time where I didn't have dinosaurs items it's a pretty chunky collection now and a lot of these items actually came from you guys my fans thank you guys so much for sending me your bits and bobs I cherish them so so much you have no idea uh, I can't wait to share this with you so let's just jump right into it it's my dinosaurs collection First let's talk finger puppets. Yes people, there are dinosaurs finger puppets. I'm not sure where they came from, if they were released just as finger puppets or they were a fast food toy of some type. However, I only have two in my collection. We have a Robbie and we have Earl Sinclair. These are really cool chewy rubber, which Pickle can tell you about. He keeps trying to steal these and eat them. Robbie is in terrible condition. He really needs an upgrade, but I've only ever found the one of him. And Earl is in pretty good condition. He's my second one I ever found. I'm not sure what I did with the first one. However, he's in great condition, and I play with these guys all the time when I'm bored alone in my house. <laughs> Next is my full set of minifigures. I'm pretty sure it's a full set. If it's not, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but we have Baby Sinclair. Earl, Fran, Charlene, who I also adored because of her fashion. I thought she was so cool. I wanted to grow up to be a cool, sassy dinosaur like her. And Robbie, who I had a crush on, uh, even though he was a dinosaur and I was a young girl, I still love Robbie and wanted to marry him. That's what's up. I also have this random minifigure of Charlene that I believe was a pencil hugger or a straw holder, but I'm pretty sure it was a pencil hugger. It's the only one of these I have. You can tell it was a pencil hugger because of the holes <laughs> through her middle. Uh, but yeah, it's the only one I've ever found that didn't come with a pencil, so not 100% sure on this one, but very glad to own it. Next is this set of little play toys, air play toys. I believe they were a fast food toy, but not within Australia. So if you know what fast food place they were from, please let me know in the comments down below. These were sent to me by a lovely viewer, a nerd Reno. I only ever had one of these and now I have a complete set. Thanks to you, I love you, you're the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let me show you how they work. So each one has the dinosaurs logo on the bottom in different colors. It then has a plastic tube which goes through to a toy which makes it do an action. And by pressing down on these, they do their little action. So this one is a friend. I originally thought she was playing the maracas, but she's actually holding a spoon, but maybe she's playing the maraca spoon uh, and she's hanging out and doing some baking. This one of Baby Sinclair is my favorite because it's Baby Sinclair. Has a blue handle and has him with a pot, uh, being a naughty little guy, probably yelling not the mama or being annoying. I relate to Baby Sinclair. This one is cool dude Robbie playing his guitar, uh, looking like a cool dude, got his sunglasses on with a baby blue handle and there he is rocking out. This one's a little bit finicky uh, but we can always get it working again. You just put the tube back in and you gotta be gentle. Uh, uh, uh. So cool! Uh, this one is of Earl going to work. He's got his hard hat on. He's got his lunchbox packed. It's a yellow little airplay thing. And you press here and he gets really excited about eating his lunch. And this last one is of Ethel, one of my other favorite characters. She only appeared every couple of episodes. She's just an annoying mother-in-law. Uh, she's got a super cool tail at the back where most of the action in this toy happens. And her chair actually matches her airplay item, which is cool. And she's in a cool outfit which I wish I owned to be honest with you especially that hat uh, and you can't really see it, but her legs are going and her towels going in this one <laughs> next is my set of medium vinyl figures I'm sure this is pretty close to being complete but these are my favorite of the figures because they're the most detailed they have the best paintwork compared to the small and the large which I'll show you in a minute but these look the most like the characters and are my just absolute favorite to play with they're also somewhat poseable so this is my Earl Sinclair you can turn him around to face whoever he wants to to do his little 
dance like he does on a TV show with that big tail. I absolutely love this one. I've also got Charlene and again I love this one because of the cool kind of plastic. I don't know if you can see it but it looks somewhat translucent. She has a great paint job. She has her cool fashion, her earrings and her lipstick on and I don't know. I just love the paintwork on these medium figures. We also have Mum Friend with her apron on. Again in that cool nearly translucent looking plastic. Absolute great condition. Looking like a happy lady that she is. Then we have Robbie with his super cool rampaging jacket still on. Uh, he has his red sneakers which I always wanted to own after seeing the TV show. And he's not poseable at all except again for the middle. Uh, but I absolutely love him because he's a handsome boy and I want to marry him. <laughs> and then of course baby Sinclair. You can't have dinosaurs without baby Sinclair. With his little white diaper and yellow shirt. Wonderful paint job with the stripes down the back. He is so adorable. And then my only figure of Bradley P. Richfield is this guy here looking so grumpy and annoying. And what a terrible boss he is. He twists at the middle just like the other figures. Uh, but it's the only figure I've ever seen of him. And I'm so glad to have this in my collection. Next is my larger PVC toys. Now these guys are a little bit different because they're hollow in the middle. Now no one's too sure where they're from. If you do know, please let me know in the comments down below because there's all kinds of information on the internet. So I'm not 100% sure. I mean, they look like Pizza Hut puppets, but I don't think they were. Please let me know if you know. Uh, but this is a lovely big Earl Sinclair with his cool flannel edge shirt. He's at home, he's hanging out, having a good time. And I also like his really cheesy grin on this one. And here's wife Fran in her apron. I kind of, I mean, it's sad that she's always in her apron, but that was the character of the time. Uh, but I do like the color combo of pink and yellow. Charlene, again, being a sassy meister with her cool pink and yellow top uh, and her blue bits in her hair and her dangly earrings. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> and finally, of course, Baby Sinclair uh, with that same goofy look on his face and his big hands ready to hug you or annoy you. Next is my collections of dinosaur puzzles. Now, some of these came from my friend Bjorn. Thanks, Bjorn. Uh, other than that, I've had two for as long as I can remember. First up is Ethel and Earl. This is my only 100 piece puzzle. It's missing three pieces, which is very upsetting, but... Yes, what can you do with like puzzles from 1991? Uh, I also like that on the back it just has the words buy written over and over again. Like buy, buy, buy. It's really strange. I don't know why someone would have written that. Uh, but anyway, that's my Ethel and Earl puzzle. Next is my 24 piece Fran and Baby Sinclair puzzle. He's having some feeding, looking lovingly at his mum. Next, of course, it's Baby Sinclair. Gotta have that Baby Sinclair merch because he's the best. Uh, popping out of his egg and looking ever so happy. <laughs> That's a 24 piece one. And finally, one of my most prized possessions, it's an Ethel puzzle. Why would you make merchandise of Solo just of the grandma? Why would someone buy just the grandma in puzzle form? It just seems like a strange thing to do merchandising wise. These both belong to the same person, the 24 piece, these two, because it's got their name on the back, which is cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure why they made a solo puzzle of it. Now this item I'm gonna have to do a cutaway because there's no way I'm gonna fit it in the camera But this my friends is one of my most prized possessions in my whole house I've never shown it to you before and it's the only Sleeping bag that I own in my entire collection. This is an original Dinosaurs sleeping bag. It says not the mama not the mama it has baby Sinclair and Earl Sinclair and the dinosaurs logo on it I've had this since I was 15, I reckon. I got this second hand when I was 15 and I've carted it across Australia and kept it in storage because there's nowhere to put it out. I used to let people sleep in it when they came to stay over, but now no one really comes to stay over because my cat's a devil. So <laughs> uh, it just stays in storage uh, being ever so lovely. And I absolutely love it. It's in great condition. Uh, and I just couldn't believe I found it. You never find vintage sleeping bags now in sheets because they're worth such big money. It's ridiculous. My absolute favorite item for my entire collection. I picked this up for only $10 and it was at the end of a market. I was walking out. It was Sunday morning and there he was sitting there, perfect condition. And the girl was so excited to see him go to a good home. It is my baby Sinclair plush. Now this is not a talking plush, which is also on my list of items I want, but this was the plush I had growing up and I lost him somewhere along the way. Absolute 
favourite toy growing up other than my Rainbow Brights and my bear, Honey Bear. Uh, he has a vinyl head and plush body and I reckon this is where my love of vinyl head plush bodies came from. He is in great condition, he even has his toenails painted on here and here. He has a little diaper and he's so squishy and I just love him so, so much. He makes me so happy and it's funny, the photo I took holding him and cuddling him an elf that I also found my elf doll that day got some of the most likes of the year. You guys love him as much as I do so he's my absolute favourite favourite in the collection and I'm so so happy that I finally own one. He sits up upon the Street Fighter 2 pinball machine so he's always out and watching me and having a good time. So that's my entire dinosaurs collection to date. As I said I've been collecting for quite a long time and it's in all different places around the house. One day I hope to have just a section for dinosaurs but because everything's so strangely sized like sleeping bags, puzzles, plush toys, vinyls, it's kind of hard to display it all in one place. So that's my collection. Let me know what your favorite item is down below and also if you have any dinosaur items that I don't know about that I don't have I'd love to hear from you and also if you know any information on any of the pieces I know somewhere on card vinyl figures I actually saw one on card at a local toy store recently oh I was so close to buying it it was just out of my price range but oh one of these days I'll get that one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed looking at my dinosaurs collection and I'll catch you guys very very soon. Have a great day! Bye!